Good morning and welcome back. She's using the magic of marshmallows to teach empathy in her new book series. And this morning she joins us to share all about the fun book signing that she has coming up. Author Gail Tristan joins us. And I want to talk about this series. I know there's three books in the series, but talk about your inspiration of this marshmallow magic. Sure. Well, it's a book about a trio of third grade girls and they run a marshmallow and cake pop shop and from a magical tree fort bakery and um, Mila, one of the main characters has food allergies um, and my daughter Bella does. And so these, um, each book will feature um, a child that feels left out for one reason or another, um, whether that be a learning disability or a disability or uh, maybe they're just, you know, tall or for whatever reason, you know, a kid feels left out. And the book series is intended to teach uh, social emotional skills um, like empathy or resilience and optimism. And so um, it's a little bit about what it's about. That's awesome. And these are definitely things we need to be teaching our children. Now, where did you get this inspiration from? I know you said your daughter has allergies, but the whole cake pop shop, where did this come from? Um, well, gosh, when my daughter Bella was in first grade, she has a passion for baking and there were just a lot of sprinkles going on in my kitchen. And so she um, decided to, you know, sell them in the driveway. She, you know, started, you know, creating the treats on her own. And um, we kind of guided her towards making um, a business about it to have a little bit more learning behind it and allow her to feel that sense of uh, food freedom, you know, in a world that, you know, might otherwise be, you know, you know, every birthday party she goes to, there's a cake or there's cookies at every celebration. And I didn't want her to feel like that was a restriction. I just wanted her to know everybody has something um, that makes them unique and just live, you know, your life the way, um, you know, you can with optimism. And so this was her way to really just express her passion for baking. And so that's kind of the foundation for the series of books too, which, you know, I think in third grade, you know, sprinkles, cookies, Pops are a ton of fun, and so it was really fun to be able to capture that spirit of, you know, uh, third grade girls or, you know, making. Yeah, I love that we're not only teaching those with allergies that it's okay, but also teaching those that don't experience it, uh, educate them a little bit so they know when friends do have allergies, how to be respectful and understand what's exactly happening. I know you were offering some free copies to local teachers. Talk about that and how they can get their hands on this book. Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, what a year. And um, thank you, teachers. And um, I just would love for teachers to have a copy of this. Um, you know, I would just live in this neighborhood with so many fantastic teachers and parents and kids that are all, um, you know, out to teach kids how to be kind, how to um, have a great attitude and help others. And so um, I'm offering free copies to teachers this uh, Sunday, uh, April 18th at our local park. Um, and so come by, grab a copy, share it with your students and families if you'd like, if you like the story. Um, and yeah, so thank you. So this Sunday you have the book signing, correct? Yeah, it's at the Del Sur Neighborhood Park for 4 p.m. And uh, there'll be books available there or you can buy it on Amazon um, and bring it there to get a book signing with every book. So come on by for that. That's awesome, Gail. Me and my girls will be by to check out your book this Sunday and I hope others do as well. You can also get it on Amazon, correct? Yes, correct. Perfect. Gail, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. This is a story awesome. that so many kids need to hear. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Carrie.